How do you clean a Keurig coffee machine and how often should you do it? That is a great question and we're going to talk about that today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now, if you are a homeowner and you have a Keurig coffee machine that uses these small K cups, this show is for you. And if you're an Airbnb host and you have a Keurig machine, this show is for you. Also, if you're a professional house cleaner and you have Airbnb guests where you do the turnover service, or if you have a regular household that has a Keurig coffee machine, this show is for you. Now, as a professional house cleaner, cleaning the Keurig coffee machine, we use these work smart, not hard tools, but it's not a lot of expense and it doesn't take a lot of time. Super easy and can be done once every three to six months. And it's a great upsell if you're putting together a package of appliances that you're cleaning, or it's a great gift if somebody gives you a referral for another customer a cleaning out their Keurig machine is a great thank you gift. So let's do this. All right, first I'm going to take a bowl and in this bowl, I'm going to fill it up with hot water and a little bit of dish soap. Any dish soap will do, any hot water will do, any bowl will do. I'm gonna take all of the moving parts from the Keurig coffee machine and I'm gonna soak them in this bowl while we clean out the rest of the coffee machine. And that way we can get all the nooks and crannies and all the coffee grounds out and all the fingerprints and all the buildup. So every couple months, we're gonna just take everything apart and soak it for a few minutes in some hot dish water. I have a measuring cup and I'm going to use a couple of cups of cleaning vinegar. This is just the white distilled cleaning vinegar and it's a pH balance of 2.5. There is a professional solution you can buy directly from Keurig. It is also a 2.5 solution and they recommend 14 to 16 ounces. So we're gonna use that today. I also have a gallon of bottled water. And I do recommend bottled water and we're going to clean it with bottled water because from here on out, if you use bottled water, it reduces all of the minerals that come through the regular tap water when you're just using tap water. All right, to make it easy on ourselves and to reduce the mess in the kitchen, I have a couple of work smart, not hard tools. One of them is a bath towel. I'm gonna to put this bath towel on the kitchen cupboard right next to the Keurig coffee machine. Then I'm gonna pull out the dish drainer and I'm gonna put it on top of the bath towel so that I have all these moving parts. I can just put them in the dish drainer and they can drip dry. All right, next, I have some Q-tips. Now, Q-tips will get inside all the little nooks and crannies of the Keurig machine and it will help me clean them. I also have my OXO deep cleaning brush and this is the smallest of the two that has the triangular pointy bristles and then also the rubber spatula at the end. Now, this is my kitchen version that I use in the kitchen on my kitchen appliances. So this is the one I'm gonna use today not the orange one that we use in the shower when we clean out the bottom rims of the shower doors, right? Kitchen one for the kitchen. Okay, so one other work smart tool I have is a paper clip. And as we take off the hood of the Keurig machine, the little part where the coffee drips through gets a lot of buildup from minerals and coffee. And we're gonna take this paper clip and poke it up in there and clear those areas. All right, and then to dry everything off, I have a cotton terry cloth. So this is all I need in order to do the job. Now let's go clean the coffee machine together, shall we? All right, now we're gonna go ahead and unplug the Keurig machine and we're gonna carry it over near the kitchen sink. The reason for this is we're going to be flushing a lot of water through the Keurig system and we wanna make sure that we're near the sink so that we're not carting water back and forth across the kitchen. Now, if you'll just pop your finger underneath the Keurig cup, that little head will pop out. And you can see the drain there, how it's a little bit icky where mineral buildup and coffee has splattered in it. So we're gonna take apart all the moving parts, the base, the little water catcher or the coffee catcher. We're gonna soak these all in our hot dish water while we're cleaning the rest of the coffee machine. We're gonna take apart the water reservoir. We're gonna wash the lid. Now this particular reservoir does not have a water filter in it, but if it did, this is the point at which we would take that out so that we don't get any soap or what have you in there. Because there's no water filter, we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of dishwashing soap in the reservoir itself. And we're gonna use a non-scratch scrub sponge and we're gonna scrub it out. But right now I'm gonna let it set for just a couple of minutes while I clean the rest of the Keurig machine. This way it can soak and kind of let the soap do its work. I'm gonna grab a Q-tip and dip that inside the vinegar and then go around the head where the K-cup goes inside the Keurig machine and we're gonna pick up any loose bits and granulars of coffee or anything that have built up inside the head of the machine. There in the base of the machine, next to where the water reservoir has been or underneath the water reservoir, we're gonna use a Q-tip to go all the way around 
all of these little tracts where water buildup is and maybe there are minerals or things like that. So we're just checking in to make sure that there's no gunk there. And then we're going to go around all the little nooks and crannies of the base of the machine. All right now that we've cleaned that all out with the vinegar, we're going to go ahead and take the non-scratch scrub sponge and we're going to scrub with a little bit of the dish soap, the front and the sides of the coffee machine itself where coffee has splattered or there has been mineral buildup or any of the ickiness that gets on a coffee machine just from everyday use. Once we've done that, we're going to return the non-scratch scrub sponge and we're going to get our terry cloth and we're going to dry the machine so that we don't leave any water spots and we just can shine it up and polish it. And then we'll go ahead and return the water reservoir to the coffee machine. We've got to rinse it out real quick because we did have some soap in there and I'm using the non-scratch scrub sponge just to make sure there's nothing icky on the inside of that water reservoir. And again, once you do this on a regular basis, it doesn't get very icky and this has been well maintained. We're going to put our vinegar in there and we're going to put equal parts water. So it's two cups vinegar and two cups water. And we'll pour our water also in our measuring cup to make sure that we have the right amount. And then once this flushes through, then we'll switch over to just regular water. So it's really only two cups of vinegar that we're going to flush through the system. And once we turn that on and that starts, I'm going to spin the rest of these dishes with the non-scratch scrub sponge. And they've been soaking for a few minutes now. And I'm going to use the OXO cleaning brush to get all the little nooks and crannies of that. Then we'll rinse out our bowl and put that in the dish drainer. And then we'll just monitor the progress of the flushing of the system. Now the cool part about what we're doing right now is because we're just flushing the system out, we're going to be using three or four gallons of water. This allows you in the kitchen to go do other things. So you can clean other parts of the kitchen or rotate laundry or work on other parts of the house and just check back in periodically and dump out the old water and then start the coffee maker again and let the next cycle go. So this is a very easy, easy process from beginning to end. The whole entire cleaning of the Keurig machine takes four to five minutes, but the, the thing that really takes the longest part of it is to flush the water and you just kind of have to keep your eye on that. All right, once you have flushed the entire system and you've gone through three or four gallons to make sure that you've got all the traces of vinegar and minerals out, then we're going to go ahead and return the Keurig machine back to the bar where it came from with all of its little fancy coffees and teas and hot chocolates and all of those things. So you put it back where you found it and now you're ready to rock and roll and you're good to go for another couple of months. And that my friends is how you clean a Keurig coffee machine. It was easy, right? And it was fun and it was quick. All right, I hope this helps you a little bit. If it does, please pass it on to a friend. If you like, you can come back every couple months as you're ready to do this again and rewatch the video over and remind yourself how to do it. Until we meet again, please leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it. Oh.